Hey everybody, this is Kyle from the Bordreau Podcast, and tonight we're going to break down all of Trevor Lawrence's throws from the first week of preseason. Obviously, I would love to break him down from the first two weeks, but he didn't play this week, so we're going to go ahead and break down week one uh, right here. So against Kansas City, I believe he threw the ball five times, so we're going to cut through him right here. Uh, first one, uh, real simple. Uh, they're going to come in motion. They're going to have stretch action boot. Come right back, and he's going to dump it off to the tight end of the flat. Nice gain. Good throw. Everything looks good. Uh, this is a, a nice little wrinkle that they have. Obviously, they're running the ball early against Kansas City. They had a quick drive. Uh, Parker Washington had a huge kickoff return to start off the drive. But nice stretch action here. What I love what they do here on the end, if you look on the right side here, is Evan Ingram, right? I believe that's Brenton Strange is going to kick while Evan Ingram inserts. And 54 is kind of the guy that they're picking on here, right? So when Ingram inserts, his first thought is probably there's run action. Ingram's insert and he's coming to block me. Ingram's going to slip him. Now 54 is going to say, okay, I'm, I'm working towards the run. Oh, Lord, it's boot. And there's my man out in the flat uh, for easy first down. Actually, that wasn't Brenton Strange. So that's my bad there. Um, so they're going to work out really good throw there by Trevor. Obviously, pretty simple throw, but they got it out there. A um, couple plays later, uh, I believe it's uh, third and goal. It's either second goal or third and goal. Um, they're going to run kind of the nod concept up top. Uh, you'll see it's similar to kind of like a spacing. Evan Ingram's going to give a little out cut and then get vertical um, in the middle of the field. And then underneath, Kirk is going to have uh, – whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a whip inside. A lot of people call it a jerk route. Um, but down here at the bottom is where you're going to see most of the action here. You have Gabe Davis. He's going to run a, a corner routes and then Evan Ingram is going to run what we call an angle route. All right. So he's going to work this way and then work back in. Okay. So Trevor Lawrence is going to realize uh, that Kansas city is in a quarters concept up top. It, to be honest, it looks a lot like stubby. Um, and then down low here, it looks like a bracket and maybe a cone on Gabe Davis between the corner and the safety, which leaves the linebacker one on one um, with Travis Etienne. So if we kind of rewind the tape and understand Trevor's going to understand the coverage, he's working backside immediately. He sees the bracket on Gabe Davis and he says, hey, here's my guy right here. I have Etienne and here's the guy covering him who now has outside leverage on a running back breaking in and running away from him. Again, a simple throw, but the ability to notice it quickly, deliver the ball efficiently, and boom, there's a touchdown. Watch it from the back end here. We can kind of key on ETN. This is going to work out. Again, and with leverage, and you'll see him pop back on the screen right there. The other thing that's great to notice with the Jags, who, who what seemed like last year had one of the worst offensive lines in football, it's four guys getting blocked by five, a nice pocket, and a really good delivery here by Trevor. Um, so good play all together. Touchdown. Jags are up. Okay, the next drive, this may be Trevor's best throw of the day. We're going to see kind of a uh, motion in here to a two-by-two two squeeze set. All right, now Trevor is going to want to work down here. All right, they're getting uh, similar to a smash concept. Oop, I'm using the wrong tool here. Uh, so... He's going to get a corner route, and then he's going to get a stop route kind of right in here. And then up top, they're going to have something similar where he's going to get one of these two is going on a stop route, and the other one is running a dig, and I actually think I drew that backwards. Uh, but you get the gist of it. So corner or Trevor's going to be working to the bottom of the screen here, looking at it. Kansas City is really in a cover two shell, all right? He notices that two right there the corner it's kind of playing the tweener and he's going to, you know, he's going to feather back or, or what we call sink. And so he's going to come right back to it and deliver a great ball to Gabe Davis here on the dig route. Now, why is this throw so great? A, he has a nice progression from one side of the field to the other and delivers the ball. But really, when you look at the back shot is where you see, you know, how great this throw was for Trevor. So right here, there he is. He's working back. He has pressure in the face. His feet are kind of set. A little bit off, plat off platform here. He's going to throw really a sidearm ball and deliver a perfect throw here to Gabe, right? There are three defenders around here, okay? There's an underneath defender and two guys, you know, one chasing and the other one over top kind of in their cover two set, and boom, he delivers a perfect throw right in the middle of that for a big first down. Um, great to see Trevor doing that. I thought that was super efficient. Our last clip here, obviously he only played two drives. I'm sorry, we have two clips left. 
All right, so here's the next one. Uh, Kansas City is going to be uh, basically in what we call one cross, and I'll, I'll kind of talk about that here in a second. So typically what the Jags are going to run here is uh, they're going to have a corner by three, and then they're going to have two in-breaking routes by one and two. Uh, a lot of times this is used to beat up on quarters, and I'm sorry, Gabe Davis is going to have a speed out here up into the boundary. So a lot of times this is used to beat up quarters. Kansas City's in a quarter shell. Uh, but then when the ball snapped, Trevor does a great job of recognizing that they're going to play what, what I call one cross. So it's kind of man-to-man across the board, and then the safety is going to kind of hop down to right around the sticks, and he's going to find the first crosser, and he's going to cut it. Obviously, the safety is deep. So when we see this happen in real time, right, the initial thought is, hey, boom, here's Christian Kirk right here. All right, that's the delivery. That was going to be the throw. He's running away from the guy, you know, if it was quarters or anything like that. But Trevor does a nice job of noticing, all right, and he's already done it, by the way, um, but noticing that, right, this safety right here is cutting Christian Kirk. He throws the ball right here. There's a great chance he's hit right there. You're now in a fourth and one situation. Um, or worse, he breaks it up. So he's going to throw it out to Gabe here in the flat. He throws a ball that I feel like was completed. Uh, Gabe's foot's down, his other foot's dragging. Maybe he's bobbling the ball. I don't really remember the broadcast at this point. Um, but there's kind of some back and forth. And then the Jags end up taking a timeout after this. And so a lot of people question, why didn't Doug Peterson just challenge the play? Why would he call a timeout if he's going to challenge the play? Go ahead and just challenge it anyways. And, you know, I thought this at first, too. And then really when I got to thinking, I said, hey, you know, it is preseason. Maybe they wanted a fourth and five situation. So you always have to think about in the preseason, the coaches want situations to practice because it's way more of a practice than it is a game. So that's probably why that decision wasn't made. So let's get to it. Fourth and five. They're going to start an empty. ETN's going to shift uh, to the backfield. Gabe Davis is going to slide out a little bit. And here is probably what I think is Trevor's worst play of the night. And again, I don't think it's an awful play. I think he just quite, you know, kind of misses the read here. And, you know, granted, I'm just a coach, so take my word for it or don't. Um, so right here, Kansas City is basically going to be in a two-man under. This guy is rushing, uh, sorry, this backer right here. He's just going to basically rush the back, and he's going to get sticky on him. Uh, terminology I use but he's going to get sticky on the back and have him man to man. Actually, he's going to end up making the sack. So right here, Trevor, it's very clear. He's looking for Christian Kirk here on the sail route. So Kirk is going to come up here and have the deep sail route, but because it's man to man, remember earlier it was one cross and this guy was coming down, but he's not anymore because they have that man to man. Look, all right, these guys are too high. We're going to have Evan Ingram one-on-one -on -one with the player. Evan Ingram's a pretty good tight end, right? And he does a really good job of getting open. They pay him a lot of money. Does a great job running the jerk route and completely loses his guy. Trevor's still waiting on the sail route, and I thought right here you can kind of see it in the pocket. He should throw that ball to Ingram right now. He kind of hangs on the sail route a little too long and eventually gets sacked. If he hits Ingram right now, Ingram probably runs for another 15 yards. Uh, you know, worst for five, you get the first down. We move on to the next down. We'll see it from the back angle here. All right, they're going to make whatever check, whatever read they're talking about, understand the coverage. Boom, it's got to be delivered right now when he's cocking that arm. And he's still looking at Kirk, obviously, we know that. But boy, right there's the time to hit Ingram. And again, he's sacked on the play. Another thing to look at in protection here, I think the Jags break down a little bit. ETN understands he's responsible for 43 here, and he kind of get, just gets caught behind the guard and doesn't really have a chance to recover. Again, I'm not saying this is completely ETN's fault, um, but maybe if he's able to step up a little better, he's able to get 43. Trevor can hang in there and maybe throw that sail route to Christian Kirk. So all in all, like I said, would have been, you know, Trevor's worst play on the night. But again, if that's the worst thing Trevor's doing, I feel like it was a pretty good night. I feel like he was sharp. Um, the throws were good. That throw to Gabe Davis was unbelievable. So all in all, you know, if we see this, preseason week three going into the regular season you got to have high hopes for trevor obviously he just got paid a huge contract it's time for him to step up be an elite quarterback in the nfl and no one's a bigger jags fan than me and no one hopes that he becomes this so i'm looking forward to it and every week we'll continue to break down these things so uh follow us go ahead and hit subscribe and again if you're not subscribed to us on boardrill.com we do weekly breakdowns on the jags every week 
our first preseason game breakdown on the Jags offense is up right now. Uh, we don't have a defensive one up yet, but we will have one up soon. We appreciate everything. Uh, so make sure you check it out. Uh, we look forward to talking with you next week. Again, I'm Kyle for the Board Drill Podcast.